When using the Festool Domino with small workpieces, it's usually best to find a way to fix the domino and the workpiece in place, just to make everything more stable and accurate. A number of folks have come up with interesting solutions to accomplish this, including a woodworker in Sweden named Ola Carmonius. His jig for the domino is essentially a table surface which accommodates mounting the domino fixed in place. It has a fence and it has a number of ways to attach work pieces and position them accurately for cutting mortises. Ola's jig is so popular that it's actually spawned a couple of commercial products based on the concept. Lee Valley sells a product they call the Veritas Domino Joinery Table. It is based on Ola's design and they acknowledge this and they have a business arrangement with Ola to pay him royalties, which I respect very much. Another variation on the same concept is the product called Mortise Match from Woodpeckers. One challenge with Ola's design is how to control the height. Now, both of the commercial products that I mentioned do add features and try to address this height adjustability issue in different ways. I'm interested in having one of these jigs in my shop, but Currently, none of the three possibilities are really a good fit for me. One possibility would be to build my own based on Ola's design. I could do that and I, I'm exploring that, but I would need to figure out a better way to deal with height adjustability. Another possibility would be to buy the product from Veritas. The problem there is that they describe it as incompatible with the Domino 700, which is the Domino that I have. Third possibility would be the Woodpecker's product, which is compatible with the Domino 700. However, the Woodpecker's product is very expensive and currently out of stock. So I've been exploring some possibilities, ideas for how to address this height adjustability issue inspired by Ola's design, but somewhat different. I'll admit I've explored a number of possibilities that didn't work out very well, but one of the more promising ones right now is the idea of using the dashboard track stars as the source of height adjustability. I couldn't find a way to mount the domino directly to the MFT table surface, so what I've done is I've mounted the domino to a board with room on the sides for clamping. The best way to install this thing on the domino uh, is to stand the domino up and stand the board up, both on a flat surface, because we want the front of the domino and this edge to be uh, exactly aligned. And the easiest way to do that is to have them both standing on the same flat surface. For what it's worth, the distance from the table surface when it's vertical like this to the center of those holes is 52 millimeters. And again, they are 50 millimeters apart. The screws are M5, five millimeter screws. And for a 12 millimeter thick piece of uh, plywood, the, thick, the length of screw that seems to make sense is 15 millimeters. I considered the possibility of stopping the wood base, say, here and just letting the back part of the domino cantilever off into space there. But I was really concerned about the weight back here uh, causing problems up here in two ways. One, um, it could be straining those little M5 screws that are holding things together. Second of all, even with everything clamped down, I don't want to compromise the accuracy of the mortise by putting uh, pressure here, it would be defeating the purpose of mounting the domino and bring back some of the same problems that people can have with the domino when they're using it as a hand tool. So I decided that nothing good can come from leaving the back unsupported. So the basic idea here is that the domino is fixed in place and the track star is the area where the workpiece will go. The great thing about the track star is that the height is adjustable. The really bad thing about the track star is that the surface is really small. There's not much room there to mount a workpiece. Granted, this whole approach is for small workpieces only, but still. For what it's worth, yes, I did explore the possibility of doing this the other direction, putting the domino itself on the track star so that the workpiece would go on the MFT surface, which has obviously a lot more room. I refer to this as three hours of my life I'll never get back, and I just don't think it's gonna work. The domino is simply too big, too heavy, 
and there's no easy way to mount it to the Trackstar. And even if there were, the height adjustability in this configuration isn't as good as the other way. Maybe things would be a little better with the Domino 500, but I'm not optimistic. So instead, I turned my attention to the question of what could I attach to the Trackstar to create a larger surface for holding the workpiece. This is just a, another piece of Baltic birch. Obviously, my workpiece surface here is very bare bones, though. It's not like uh, an MFT at all. It, it's, it has no dog holes or anything like that. I figure those things could be added, but I'm certainly aware that Ola's jig has a work surface with lots of capabilities. Somewhere along the way, I realized that uh, I'm not limited to just one Trackstar. Yes, the Trackstar service is small, but I can use more than one of them for various purposes. So in this case, I have my basic service, but over on the side, I have another Trackstar mounted that I'm using as a stop. And because Trackstars can slide along the front of the bench uh, in that aluminum track, you can put that stop anywhere you want. Another variation I've been playing with is this one, where I've taken the top off of a SIS-MFT. It's that it's that funky Festool Sistainer with a little MFT top in it. I took the top off and attached it to another Trackstar. And so now I have a little MFT workspace that uh, can ride along the side of my MFT and is height adjustable. So I can put my workpiece there and use dogs and clamps that way. For a form like this, or if I were to put dog holes and other features uh, in the birch one that I made, it's important to make sure that the face of the domino is square to whatever you're relying on on the table surface for accuracy. If you're concerned about the strength of this MDF top and how far it is cantilevering over, so am I. The other one that I made with the birch top is uh, only extending 60 millimeters past the uh, edge of the track star, although the size uh, is fairly arbitrary. This one extends 115 millimeters. So yeah, I'm worried about that. I don't have any real experience using this setup yet, so I can't claim how practical it is. I'm gonna try it, we'll see. I'll probably report back, just in case it turns out to be really useful and in the unlikely event that other people like it, it seems like it needs a catchy name, so. I'm gonna call it the overboard because it's a board that the domino is over and because the workpiece is kind of like being thrown overboard off the boat. And it's entirely possible that if this turns out to be not practical, then I may have just gone overboard.